Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on your favorite YouTube English teacher's YouTube channel. What are we gonna do in today's video? That was a good question. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing some alternatives to the word please that we can use in our English sentences instead of repeating this word again and again and all over again, like all the time. There is nothing wrong with using the word please, and we use the word please like a lot, like in so many situations, and it's, it's one of the uh, most frequently and commonly used words in English. But it's not a bad idea to learn some alternatives to this word to beautify our sentences and take them a step further, right? So we're going to be reviewing the different alternatives to the word please in different situations and we will have a look at some examples together. But before we do so, I kindly want you guys to like this video. Since I have a small YouTube channel, your likes can significantly help the channel grow and be exposed to a larger number of people than more and more people will be watching the videos and the channel will grow significantly. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and turn on the notification bell not to miss any of my future videos and leave some positive comments down below. Let's get started. When we use the word please to make polite and informal requests, instead of the word please, we can use these alternatives. The first alternative is the adverb kindly, kindly, kindly. We can use the adverb kindly in our formal requests instead of the word please to form polite and formal requests, right? So instead of the word please, we can use the word kindly in our formal requests. Let me give you an example. Kindly call me if you need any help. Kindly call me if you need any help. Kindly call me if you need any help, which means please call me if you need any help. Kindly call me if you need any help, which means please call me if you need any help. The other alternative to the word please when forming or making formal requests is would you mind doing something? Would you mind doing something? Would you mind doing something? Keep in mind that after mind, you should use the ing form of verbs here. Would you mind doing something? Which means, uh, doesn't it matter to you if you do something? Or are you okay if you do something? Or is it fine by you if you do something? Or doesn't it matter if you do something? Or can I ask you, can I kindly want you to do something? Or could you please do something? So, would you mind doing something? Would you mind doing something? An example. Would you mind opening the door? Would you mind opening the door? Would you mind opening the door? Which means, could you please open the door? So, instead of saying, could you please or would you please open the door? We can take the sentence a step further and to the next level and say, would you mind opening the door? Which means, don't you have any problem if you want to open the door? Or can I kindly ask you or want you to open the door? Or doesn't it matter if I kindly ask you to open the door? So would you mind opening the door? The third alternative to the word please that we can use in sentences instead of repeating this word is could you or would you do something? Could you or would you do something? So instead of using please with questions, we can simply use could you or would you do something? For example, could you call before you come? Or would you call before you come? Could you call or would you call before you come? Which means please call before you come. But instead of saying please call before you come, we make the sentence politer and also more advanced by saying could you or would you call before you come? The other alternative to the word please is would you be kind enough to do something? 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 Which means, could you please do something? Can I kindly ask you to do something? Would you please consider doing something? Would you be kind enough to do something? Would you be kind enough to give me a call? I'm a little bit worried. 
Would you be kind enough to give me a call? I'm a little bit worried. Would you be kind enough to give me a call? I'm a bit worried. Which means, could you please give me a call? Or would you please give me a call? I'm a bit worried. Or please give me a call. I'm a bit worried. All right, let's move on to the next alternatives to the word please that we can use and take advantage of while offering help. So when you want to offer help, you can use these phrases that I'm about to explain to you instead of the word please. If you could do something. If you could do something. If you could do something, which means please do something. Instead of saying please do something, we say if you could do something. An example, if you could explain once again, it would be awesome. If you could explain once again, it would be awesome. If you could explain once again, it would be awesome. Which means please explain once again, it would be awesome. Please explain once again. But instead of saying please explain once again, we say if you could or would explain once again, it would be awesome. The other alternative to the word please that we can use while offering help is would you be willing to do something? Would you be willing to do something? Would you be willing to do something? Would you or could you be willing to do something? Would you or could you be willing to do something? Which means please do something, right? An example. Would you be willing to help me with my English? Or could you be willing to help me with my English? Would you or could you be willing to help me with my English? Which means please help me with my English. I kindly want you to help me with my English. I kindly request that you help me with my English if you can please. So would you or could you be willing to do something? And the other alternative is would you kindly do something? Would you kindly do something? Would you kindly do something? An example. Would you kindly wash the car? Would you kindly wash the car? Would you kindly wash the car? Which means, could you wash the car? Or please wash the car. Please wash the car. Or could you kindly wash the car? Would you kindly wash the car? Would you mind washing the car? Now we're moving on to the next alternatives to the word please that we can use in order to sound politer in our commands, right? To sound politer in commands. The first one, if you would do something, 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 which means I would appreciate it if you could do something, if you would do something. An example, if you would clean the floor, I would do the dishes. If you would clean the floor, I would do the dishes. If you would clean the floor, I would do the dishes. It means, please clean the floor, I will do the dishes. Please clean the floor, I will do the dishes. The other phrase is, if it's not too much trouble or hassle. 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 Which means, please do something. If you do not consider it like so much or too much trouble and hassle. Or I kindly want you to do something or please do something. Right? So if it's not too much trouble or hassle. An example, if it's not too much trouble or hassle, could you please give me a call? If it's not too much trouble or hassle, could you please give me a call? If it's not too much trouble or hassle, could you please give me a call? Which means, could you please give me a call? I know it might be a little bit difficult for you to do so, but could you please give me a call? Or would you consider giving me a call despite uh, its trouble or despite the hassle? Would you please give me a call? So if it's not too much trouble or if it's not too much hassle, would you please give me a call or could you give me a call? The other phrase is at your earliest convenience. At your earliest convenience. Keep in mind that we can use the word please with all these phrases that I've just explained to you so far. But instead of repeating please in our sentences, like in a boring way, 
Again and again and all over again, we can use these phrases, but we can also use these phrases with the word please to increase the level of the politeness of our sentences or our conversations. So the other phrases, at your earliest convenience, at your earliest convenience, which means whenever you can do so, when we ask someone to do something at their earliest convenience, we're asking them to do something whenever they are comfortable to do so or whenever they find it convenient to do so or whenever they have no difficulty doing so or whenever they find it easy to do so. So to do something at your earliest convenience. An example, would you print the documents at your earliest convenience? Would you print the documents at your earliest convenience? Would you print the documents at your earliest convenience? Would you print the documents at your earliest convenience? Which means, would you please print the documents? Could you please print the documents? Would you please print the documents whenever you find it easy to do so, whenever you have no difficulty doing so? And finally, let's move on to the last alternatives to the word please that we can use when we're trying to make a suggestion or a recommendation. So, you can use these alternatives when you're making a suggestion or a recommendation. The first one is, may I suggest something? May I suggest something? Or may I suggest doing something? May I suggest something? May I suggest doing something? An example, may I suggest buying a different car? May I suggest buying a different car? May I suggest buying a different car? Which means, please buy a different car. Instead of saying, hey, please do this, please do that. In order to make a suggestion, you can increase the level of the politeness of your suggestion by saying, may I suggest something or may I suggest doing something? So instead of using the word please to make a recommendation or a suggestion, you can say, may I suggest doing something or something? May I suggest buying a new car? May I suggest buying a new car? Which means, please buy a new car. But instead of saying, please buy a new car, we say, may I suggest buying a new car? And we're making it politer and we're making it sound more formal as well. The other alternative to the word please while making a polite suggestion or recommendation is perhaps you could do something. 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 Which means, please do something. Please consider doing something. I'm suggesting that you should please consider doing something. But instead of saying, please consider doing something, we simply say, perhaps you could consider something. Right? Perhaps you could consider something. Perhaps you could do something. Perhaps you could do something. An example, perhaps you could upgrade the car. Perhaps you could upgrade the car. Perhaps you could upgrade the car, which means please upgrade the car. Please consider upgrading the car. But instead of saying please do this, please do that, in order to make a suggestion, we say perhaps you could do something. Perhaps you could do something. Perhaps you could upgrade the car. All right, guys, that's about all. So in today's video, you learned some beautiful alternatives to the word please in order to take the politeness of your sentences to the next level and make them politer. Now I kindly want you to like this video in support of this channel, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, turn on the notification bell and leave some positive comments down below to fill me with the energy I need to keep making these videos for you. I'll be back soon.